Welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. E. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born on April 26, 1564, in Stratford-upon-Avon, England. Shakespeare's exact birth date is unknown, but it is traditionally celebrated on April 23, which is also the day of his death in 1616. William Shakespeare lived more than 400 years ago during a period of English history known as the Elizabethan Age, named after Queen Elizabeth I. William Shakespeare was an English playwright, poet and actor. He is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the Bard of Avon. Best Plays William Shakespeare has tried his hands in both plays as well as poetry. Some of his best plays include The Merchant of Venice, Romeo and Juliet, The Tempest, Othello, King Lear, Midsummer Night's Dream, Macbeth, and Hamlet. Best Poems Some of the best poems he has written includes The Rape of Lucrece, The Phoenix and the Turtle, Sonnet 20, Sonnet 1, Sonnet 73, Venus and Adonis, Sonnet 29, Sonnet 130, Sonnet 116, and Sonnet 18. Education. Starting his early education at the age of seven at the Stratford Grammar School. William Shakespeare underwent rigors of learning grammar and literature which received special focus at school. He also learned basic manners and prayers in a theological setting besides traditional subjects of rhetoric, logic, history, Latin and the works of great classical authors. Unfortunately, the financial crisis forced him to quit his education. In spite of the challenges, Shakespeare retained his reading addiction and theatrical interests. Married life. Shakespeare married Annie Hathaway at 18 in 1582. It is, however, interesting that Annie was seven years senior and pregnant at the time of their marriage. Therefore, they had to welcome Susanna, their first child very soon. After a few years, they welcomed twins. Sadly, one of the twins died at 11. Writing style. He used a pattern consisting of unrhymed iambic pentameter, which was called blank verse. Most of Shakespeare's contemporaries used the same pattern. The danger with blank verse was of being monotonous. That could be seen in some of the early Shakespeare plays. However, as he progressed, he mastered the iambic pentameter to the extent where he could perfectly portray human emotions. Readers can observe this pattern in Shakespeare's writing style used in Macbeth. He also wrote his plays in a combination of verse and prose. Shakespeare's prose style was primarily used in soliloquies. Don't forget to like and comment. Subscribe our channel. Thank you.